this video, we're finishing the golf cart. So you can see on the charger right now, we're sitting at about six volts, which even though it's a six volt battery is actually like could completely dead. But um, I just wanted to point out that if you have an automatic battery charger, it actually usually, if, it, if the battery is really dead, it won't recognize it or it won't start charging because uh, it thinks it's not hooked up to a battery. So if that's the case, you just hook it up to one of these manual chargers leave it on there for a few minutes to bring the voltage up and that'll kind of get you going but yeah i'm just gonna leave them there for a little while and see if that voltage goes up a little bit so this is what i'm using for paint uh, i put a couple coats on this thing uh i just i'm just painting it like this deep blue it's just home depot paint i didn't i didn't use automotive paint because it's really expensive and I'm trying to keep this project pretty cheap but i mean after a couple coats it looks pretty good I think I'm going to clear coat it too, but this one, I just finished sanding it, kind of taking off that shiny clear coat so I can get the paint to stick. But I'm going to paint this one next, put a couple coats on both, oh that one probably needs another one, and then I'm going to clear coat them. So here's it, here it is all painted, um, back here, it, like, it looks pretty good, but then you come up here and this one looks terrible. I, I, I think I didn't sand it well enough, but it's super like splattery and the clear coat just did not shine at all. So I think I'm going to like sand this thing again and put another coat on. Hopefully it'll look better, like this one back here. And, and then I'm going to recover these, this seat with just some like black vinyl, um, make it look a little bit newer. <laughs> And then over here, I'm just like trying to resurrect these batteries. Uh, I'm not too hopeful because it's not looking too good, but I'm just trying to see if I can squeeze anything out of them. Since we decided we're going to sell this, I just picked up some new batteries from Costco because the old ones were definitely bad, so we couldn't reuse them. So we ended up having to get new ones. Uh, I made some new wires, or I crimped some new ends on these wires. This is actually just like welding wire. It works really well because it's just heavy gauge wire and it's pretty cheap. Um, I like, I re-crimped some of the wires down in here. It's kind of hard to see them, but put a new solenoid in there. Um, just cleaned up some wiring and stuff. I have to, these things are what, like, they go in here and that's how the batteries are held down. But these batteries are a little bit taller than the old ones, so I have to like make some new ones it a little bit longer um, and then the batteries will be done. All right guys, um, thank you to Blake for recording all of this stuff that he's been working on. As you can see, it's it was painted and everything and it's just kind of hard to like, cause he's all the way in, here in Dallas. So it's hard for us to like constantly continuing to come over and record and stuff, but we got paint and new batteries in so he also was able to clean up the seat really well with some like, just like, um, what's it called? Like those like eraser things, those white erase things for like fabric and stuff. So that cleaned up nicely. But we are nowhere near done on this. Um, the paint on this turned out really tiger striped and just not that good because he got a, he got a feel for the spray gun with the back part. So we have to repaint this as well as paint up all these trim pieces. You can see how they're kind of a little bit gross. But, and then other than that, like we just have like some other trim pieces we need to assemble and stuff like this back bar here, which is right there. So yeah, hopefully we'll be able to finish up this build and get all together. Uh, and this isn't exactly like a, like th I'd say this is more of a restoration at this point than a build because we, like golf carts are cool, but we really just want to like they're worth a lot So we really just want to get this thing to a really nice selling point So we can sell it and then maybe make like a shifter car with a motorcycle engine or something like that 
like something like a really cool project. Now we just take the front clip off. Probably clean up a little bit under here, but so now what we'll do is we'll focus on sanding this down and painting it again. All right, now we're just mixing up the paint with some uh, thinner. That way you spray it in our gun. Oh, it's just water. Yeah, it's just water. Okay. Yeah. That way you spray it in our gun. So it's all sanded up as you can see. So now we just need to wipe it down, check again for any imperfections, and then just paint it up. Nothing like this paint stripper to get this uh, black paint off the aluminum. So that'll be really good and ready to paint. All right, so our first coat is going on. All right, so here it is getting this paint. Second coat is going on. I'm out. All right, so it it painted up nicely. So now all we have to do is install it for the last time. All right, so we've got those seat back things up painting right now. And now we're just throwing on this top bar to the cart. Honestly, it's looking really good with the, uh, with the white, blue, and black combo going. I think it's gonna look a lot better once we throw the top on there. All right, guys, so, um, so we can get a good shot like in the light of this go-kart or golf cart even though everything's done We're just gonna rip it around here just for fun. We'll get some more shots of it later, but we're just waiting for stuff to dry now so uh, I don't think you're gonna make it <laughs> oh, you got airborne. We got one turn there. I don't think it's flexing. Is it gonna flip, you think? I wouldn't do that. <laughs> This thing's such a crawler. Uh-oh. Dude, go back down. You're like jamming the throttle into the dirt. Cause there's like a linkage. Yo, that's pretty good flex Hold though. On. Let's get this, uh, this linkage. It's like a giant RC. <laughs> hey, Lake says he's pretty good at J turns. Let's see what's up. Oh, that was, there's a, a slight lack of uh, transition. The cool thing about electric motors is like, you can bang between, oh my God. You can bang between forward and reverse without too many repercussions. As long as you're not going too fast, cause then it'll draw too many amps. But for like low speeds like this, it should be alright. We put the Easy Go emblem in paint stripper because we were gonna do like that Wait. custom paint thing on it, and it just completely, <laughs> it completely disintegrated it. Oh my gosh! I think it says on the can. Let's see. Yeah, maybe, it? maybe. I mean, it makes sense. Like, like it should just destroy everything but bare metal. That's honestly you know, you hilarious. Use yeah. plastic, rubber, or asphalt tire. Okay, so now the only thing that'll be left on this build is acquiring one of those. But we can't get that done because we gotta finish this video today.
All right, so now we're just bolting the last stuff on. So next clip will hopefully be us driving around. I'll give a little walk around. I really think it's rocking the, uh, the blue and white, honestly. I mean, okay, like we didn't really do much to this thing other than like get it in good condition so we can sell it. But I mean, we, got, we need to do this because we got some big builds coming. And I mean, yeah, we could drop a gas engine and stuff in this thing, but like, it's just not profitable. I mean, we're just thinking about the long term, so. And it's still fun to rebuild it and hoon it and stuff. So we'll do some of that in a little bit. Six three five. So, so we were like the exact same speed. What did I get? Exactly that. Like forty six. Well, I think I got.
really good. Like I said, we're not doing anything crazy with this build, but we really just want them to get it back in good condition because it's a pretty nice golf cart. So hopefully we'll be able to sell this and move on to something cool like a shifter cart or a big engine Predator. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one.